lot of different things happened from when I first felt the lump. The breast MRI, the ultrasound, the biopsy, those things combined to be able to tell the doctors that it was triple negative breast cancer and it was stage three. When my PSA was taken and the results came back, it was elevated. And when I went to the urologist, I was informed that I had prostate cancer. I was devastated. 50 years that I was only the second male patient he had ever encountered that had these symptoms. And then we got a biopsy, and then a few days later I had a mastectomy. I didn't think I could have breast cancer more than once. Unfortunately, I had it three more times. And my husband said, you can handle it and you should get educated more on it and then go out and pay for it. We are indeed making great strides in cancer treatment and cancer outcomes, but gaps exist. There are a lot of disadvantages for the Latin community. There are a lot of people that are financially vulnerable. Having to choose between dedicating time to go to your treatment or actually going to work the main barrier that I uh, experienced was psychologically. Am I going to be able to maintain this level of health <laughs> that I'm at now, where things get worse for me? My queer identity had to be identified throughout the process by me referring to my wife. It was never asked of me, and I think that's something that could be implemented if intake forms asked more specific questions. I'm Hawaiian. I'm proud to be Hawaiian but I want Hawaiians to live and learn more about cancer. Being an advocate, I found that people still had questions. They didn't know what doctors to look for. They didn't have transportation. They didn't have insurance. We need to make sure that we support patient navigation services. Uh, navigators can be critical in making sure that patients can get from point A to point B to point C across the continuum of diagnosis, treatment, and survivorship. I was certified as a clinical interpreter, so I am able to stay with the patient from the time of the diagnosis. I am explaining step by step what is the treatment plan, and after the doctor is gone, so all the questions about what is your insurance, uh, how I am going to help them to actually make all the appointments for all the tests that are required to complete the diagnosis. All of these aspects of cancer care have a cost, and that cost can be quite high for an individual that is already dealing with a financially constrained budget. Having advocates getting out there in the community, educational workshops, providing money for transportation, if a woman needs to go and get a mammogram, not being punished, I guess you could say, if she has to miss work for that. We understand that we need to address the lack of diversity in the healthcare workforce. If we improve the diversity of the healthcare workforce, we will have a stronger workforce that provides better care to patients. We will have a more creative healthcare and research workforce that will design better clinical trials and research programs when they came to me and said, would I like to participate in a broad study about the relation between cancer and genetic variations? I was only thinking that I could contribute and not necessarily be impacted positively by it. But that's how it all started. The colonoscopy clearly showed that I had a mass that was developing. So we found colon cancer in an early stage the surgery was very successful. He or she that finds anything early have a greater, better outcome. Early detection is critical and it's key to the Black community. Whenever we discuss disparities, almost invariably, the conversation turns into a debate regarding whether race is a socio-political construct or whether it does indeed have any relevant biologic significance? And the answer is, of course, is that it's both. Race is also linked to ancestral genetic components, and some of these ancestral genetic components can impact on cancer risk. For example, the risk of the biologically aggressive triple negative breast cancers 
is twice as high in black women compared to white women in this country. We see higher rates of inflammatory breast cancer in African American women. And we also see higher rates of male breast cancer in the African American community. Education is the core of health and wellness. I would definitely recommend clinical trial to someone. If you're a person that is going through the type of cancer that this clinical trial can help with, I would highly recommend it. It's a way to improve your quality of life and help with research in the area of, uh, of cancer to help others. And that's one of the things that I looked at. Yeah, I'm going to be helping others by going through this clinical trial in addition to helping myself. I believe that studies and clinical research should be expanded to minority communities and have a broader view of the impact of cancer in these communities. If we really gave more money for research, we could put an end to cancer as we know it today all of the advocacy work that the AACR does in terms of supporting legislation and making sure that our government understands the importance of sponsoring clinical research. And so when you think about it, from a policymaker or legislative point of view, we're everywhere. We are your relatives, we are your siblings, we are your colleagues, we are in Congress with you, we are the firefighter who comes to your house. We're the nurse who takes care of you. And so how would you treat yourself? Well, then that's the kind of policy you should implement for our community. I think we should have more funding towards cancer research for the overall health of our nation.